All right, now you get to hear uh, this group of writers, okay? I'll tell you, we started out kind of rocky in the writing department at the beginning of the year. It was something they did not enjoy for the most part. And it was kind of difficult, but boy, once the, I mean, when I look at where we started and where we are now, it just blows my socks off. They've, they've done such a great job and they've really developed into good writers. Um, so you're gonna get a taste of that tonight. You know, we've written, oh, let's see here, what have we done? Creative writing, we've done reports, we've done letters, we've done summaries, um, poems, uh, a pretty large variety of writing topics and uh, genres. And so what they got to do tonight is they got to pick uh, their two favorites that they're the most proud of. So that's what they are reading tonight. So this was their um, their pick, and uh, some of the stuff that we wrote about, apparently none of them liked it because none of them picked those topics. So, <laughs> so whatever, I guess that's okay too. So uh, there's only one writing piece that I need to explain, and that will be the one that we're going to start with tonight, and that's called One Dark Night. Uh, now what we did with that is we read a story in reading, and it was about a stray cat that showed up at a stranger's farm and um, the, the stray cat ended up bringing in her three kittens out of this thunderstorm, and the story ends with the mother cat and the baby kittens falling asleep, cuddled up in a little bed beside the boy Jonathan in his bedroom, and that's how the story ended. So they had to write a chapter two uh, to follow up with that, and so I had, I think, three or four kids that wanted to do that, so we'll start with that one. But the rest of the writing pieces, I don't need to explain. They're pretty self-explanatory. Once you hear them start reading, you'll know what they're doing. Okay? So let's start with that. So one dark night, we have Emily, Zoe, and Dane. The next morning, the cats were already awake. The cat and the kittens were trying to wake up Jonathan. The cats were meowing and meowing and meowing. They meowed until Jonathan woke up, but he was sick, so he couldn't play with the cats. Jonathan was sad because he couldn't play with the cats. The cats were sad too, so the cats walked away to the cat room to eat, but they were too sad to eat. They walked to the couch, then slept for a while, they woke up and they, and they were still too sleepy. So they slept until the next morning. Jonathan was way more better than he was the day before. So they played and played until they were tired. Jonathan woke to the kittens tiny meow. Jonathan looked up to see that the three kittens were on his chest. They looked hungry and thirsty. So Jonathan told his grandparents after the kittens ate, he felt the stray cat rub her head on him. So he fed the stray cat too. After that, Jonathan took the cats to use the bathroom. After taking the cats inside, he ate breakfast. He had eggs with butter toast. Later, he and the cats played. Then he asked his grandparents about naming the stray and the kittens. Jonathan's grandparents said yes. So he named the black one Nate, and the white one is still like, and the gray one Dust. It took Jonathan a while to name the stray, but he finally named the stray Black Snow. A couple weeks later, his, his parents came. Jonathan asked his parents if they could keep the cats. His parents said yes. He told them their names, and. All that happened after Jonathan went to his bed, the kittens and their mom played until the next morning. <coughs> Four years later, Jonathan was 12. The kittens were all grown up. Their names were Bobby Joe, Fluffball, and Billy. The kittens' mom died because she got too old. Jonathan worked at, at Menards. Bobby Joe and Fluff Paul almost got him fired because they knocked down all the paint cans. His boss gave him another chance. Jonathan got a girlfriend named Felicia. They eventually got married and had kids. They were named Carter, Dane, Eli, Case. Jonathan's friend Jacob liked to go fishing and brought the cats fish. Jacob had other cats too. They were on a boat. It got outrageous. They ate all the fish and broke 
and also broke his fish, fishing rod. One cat fell off the boat. Jonathan dived in after him and saved him. He went to the vet and he, the cat was okay. The end. is fun because I have horses, ducks, sheep, and a llama, chickens, cats. I have a baby horse that was just born. My farm is, good, is a good place to play. I can pet my baby horse and my ducks too. I have to feed the sheep corn. The baby, the big duck chases me sometimes even though I'm nice too. Sometimes my horse Tompton is mean, mean to the other horses. Some of the things he does to the horses is bite and jump on their backs and chase them. I try to yell at him and make him stop, but he doesn't listen. I love living on a farm with a lot of animals. jet skis glide. We didn't go to the playground. At the end, we tried a shower thingy. My mom and I, my mom and I saved Corbin from drowning. The whole day was awesome. Thanksgiving, Xander the turkey was hanging out under an apple tree. Then suddenly he remembered that it was the day before Thanksgiving. He wanted to hide and have a snack. He was going to get fat. More people would want him then. So he forgot about eating and went to sleep. Thanksgiving came. Soon a person came looking for a turkey. Xander hid and put up signs that said, no turkey here. The people left and his friends and his friends were taken by the hunters. Xander was sad, but he had to be tough. Now he had to get fat again and burn it off next year. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a kid who was drawing a turkey. The turkey wanted to come alive. The kid went to bed and fell asleep. She was dreaming and her drawing came to life. Her dream actually came to life. Then the turkey started to run out of the house. It was running and running until it ended up in the woods. It was scared. It wanted to go back, but it was lost. It was sad and it didn't know what to do. So it changed its mind and became brave and went its own way. The turkey walked until it saw the same house that it came alive in. It ran to the house and jumped back into its paper no one ever found out about the silent drawn turkey. Hi, my name is Turkey. If you can't tell, I'm a pro turkey. Today is Thanksgiving, so I need to hide. I want to hide at a party for some reason. So the fairy godmother came and turned me into a person. She said this is only going to last for one hour and 30 minutes. So I said, so how am I? But, so I better go, and how am I supposed to get there? Then she said, boop, bop, dop, bop, and a pumpkin pie carriage came and took me to the party. Then I got there some, but he said, who invited you? I said, uh, Billy Bob Jr. He said, cool, well, nice to meet you. You too, I said. I saw the oven, and I said, good, they haven't, they haven't found a turkey yet. About 10 minutes later, I saved all the turkeys. Toys, 
going fishing, going snowmobiling, playing in the snow, playing sports, my cat, snowmobile fights, snowball fight fights, playing with my brother and my family, and playing with my stuffed animal. That's what I love. I love snowboarding, eating tacos, playing PS4, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, riding my bike, drawing, painting, and toy cars. That's what I love. I love Xbox by creating my room, my toys, my school, Mr. Gamable, Broncos, my parents, myself, and my teacher. That's why I love. I love scary sounds, slumber parties, the Adam family, books, Paris, Germany, puppies, the movie Mrs. Doubtfire, circuses, Italy, YouTube, French toast, John Stiffies, cats, twigs, and Star Wars. That's what I love. I love, I love going to GameStop, going snowmobiling, playing my Xbox One, playing, playing uh, basketball with my dog, re wrestling practice, helping my mom, basketball practice, and my Clifford Lion Fletcher. That's what I love. One night I could not sleep because I kept on hearing things coming from outside. So I looked through the window and light was coming, but it was not the sun. It was gold shining outside on our yard. Then I put on my shoes and coat and went outside. Then I saw a leprechaun and I chased him, but he was too fast for me to catch him. But he went on the pl on a plane, but I could not get go on. So I told the driver of the plane I was the captain's daughter. Everyone believed me, and the plane speakers turned on and said that we were going to Hawaii. The leprechaun and I got off. He told me he hid something there, and he, and I knew what he meant. And he meant it was the gold. Then a couple hours later, I found the gold and ran as fast as I could. I could. I got on the plane and went home. I took a nice long nap when I got home. That was the best night I ever had. Once upon a time, there's a group of leprechauns. They were sneaky young lads. They made messes around houses. One day they got a pot of gold and hid it. One day a little boy saw a rainbow after a rainstorm and he told his mom, can I go and look for the pot of gold? He found it. It was hidden in a cave. He wondered what was in the cave. He looked inside and found leprechauns. The, lepre the leprechaun said, you found my pot of gold, eh? My name is Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. My name is Butler. Well, nice to meet you, but come inside. Meet my friends. We have everything. We have a pool, a Lambo, and pop tarts. <laughs> Want to have some? Said the leprechaun. We'll do anything if you don't take our pot of, if you don't take our gold. Okay, okay, said the boy. The next day, the boy went back to the cave, and the leprechauns weren't there. They got trapped by someone else and caught. Once upon a time, long ago in March, there was a leprechaun. He wanted to hide his pot of gold because every year his pot of gold was taken. This year was going to be different. Later, a little leprechaun was thinking he hid his pot of gold in a bush so no one would find the gold there. But when the day came, he grabbed where he put it. So then he went to the for gold bank and he took all the money. So when he came back to his village, he bought everything, even a gold motorcycle. He even bought the town. One rainy night, it was, the wind was howling, there was thunder and lightning. Then all of a sudden, it stopped storming. 
Then I saw a rainbow. I went outside and followed it. Then I saw a pot of gold and there was a leprechaun. He said, who are you? I said, who are you? I was thinking of taking his pot of gold, but he was magical. So I stole the pot of gold, but he responded. Then I, then I felt smaller because he turned me into a leprechaun. I stayed that size for five days. Animal. A lion is of the mammal class. They are a large mutated cat. They live in grassy plains in Africa and India. They sleep in the savanna. They use trees for shade. The lion to eat animals they they Antelope, zebra, and ostrich. They also like to eat animals that other predators have ate already. Killed lions. Lions get water from what they eat. If there is a lake or river, they they will drink from there too. Interesting animal. A grizzly is a mammal. A grizzly usually lives in a forest in Alaska, North America, Northern Canada, and Asia. A grizzly lives in a cave or other natural shelters. A grizzly eats eat elk, moose, fish, berries, grass, and leaves. The grizzly's water source is long streams of water. Grizzlies have no predators. Their predator is habitat loss and humans. The, the grizzly bear's main adapt, adaptation is its sense of smell. The grizzly can smell a dead animal from 18 miles away. A grizzly cubs need certain skills to survive, like fishing, foraging. The biggest grizzlies get the best fishing spots. The grizzlies can get up to eight feet tall. A grizzly's claw is six inches long. Grizzly's cubs can get up to three feet tall. The gray white shark is an in, is an interesting animal. Their classification is fish. Their environment is the cool seas. Their shelter is the ocean floor. The gray white shark eats turtles, seals, sea lions, and dolphins. Their water source is the water it takes in from in from the ocean. The great white shark, the great white has cool adaptations. It can smell even a drop of blood in a million drops of water. It has a a white belly and a dark back that this makes it hard to see for its prey to see them. These fierce sharks have no predators. They are interesting. Sharks can lose their teeth when they bite hard. They can grow a whole mouth of teeth in a few days. A great white shark teeth can cut through the side of a steel boat in one bite. The, the great white shark is the deadliest animal in the world. The cheetah is an interesting animal. It is a mammal. The cheetah's environment is the grassy plains or savanna. It does not have a permanent home. The mom. The mom moves her cubs a few times a week so other big cats don't get them. The cheetah's food is small antelope, gazelles, ostriches, and sheep. 
Cheetahs don't need water every day because they can go without water for three to four for three to four days. Sometimes it will find water holes. It will drink from them. The, the cheetah's main adaptation is speed. It can go it can go to 60 to 70 miles per hour in under three seconds. It can reach 60 to 70 miles per hour when it hunts. The cheetah has only a few predators. The predators are hyenas, lions, and humans. Usually only one out of the 20 baby cheetah cubs survive because its mom is hunting from dawn to dusk. Cheetahs are interesting. Their tail, their tail is heavy so it can keep balance. Panda bear is an interesting animal. Pandas are mammals. Pandas live in, in mountains, bamboo forests, and the cold damp forests of China. Their shelters, caves, are under a fallen tree. The panda's food is honey, bamboo, small mammals, fish, birds, and eggs. They can eat up to 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo leaves and stems, or up to 84 pounds of bamboo shoots in one day. They get their water from mountain streams and rivers. Pandas do not have a lot of predators. Demons and leopards are their predators. The panda bear has a cool, has cool adaptations. They're good climbers and they have an extra large wrist for, for, for gripping. They also have an extra thumb that is an extension of the wrist bone. It helps them strip bamboo leaves off the stem. The baby panda's birth weight is 3.7 ounces, which is larger than an apple. A day old panda looks like a white rat. A panda's lifespan is 10 to 15 years in the wild and more than 20 years in captivity. The karma is an interesting creature. The karma is a snake. It is a reptile from the Impaliton family. King Cobras live in many in the rainforest and plains of India. South China and South India. They take shelter in animal barrels and under fallen trees and among rock formations. Cobras eat small snakes small birds, small and bird eggs. They drink normal water. Adaptation. Adaptations to the karma are mongoose and large birds of prey. The cobra in predators to the cobra are mongoose and large birds of prey. Adaptations of the cobra can. include that it can jump. Here are some interesting facts about the cobra. One bite can kill it, an elephant. A cobra has a scary hood, a food chain. The food chain of the cobra shows that a mongoose eats the cobra and and a cobra a cobra eats the mouse and the mouse eats the grass. 
A cobra is a interesting and truly an interesting creature. play for you all tonight uh, and uh, so the kids will hang around up front here after the play if you want to snap a couple of pictures right so we're not going to take off right away kids um, and then like I said if you could stick around afterwards to help you know tear things down that would be great if not that's that's fine too so thank you for coming and um, I think you're going to love the finale here so we'll clear off the chairs move the trees a tiny bit and we'll be ready to go here in about two minutes okay